Now at five, Governor Ned Lamont rolling out his budget earlier today, which includes the largest tax cuts in state history. There is actually 500 million in tax relief for middle and lower income families. The state's strong fiscal health is making this possible. Our chief political reporter Susan Raff is live, uh, live rather, right outside the House chamber, where the governor's speech uh, was pretty well received. Right, Susan? Very well received. In fact, Governor Lamont got applause from both sides of the aisle today, and mainly because he delivered some very positive news. Connecticut has a record surplus and rainy day fund, and Republicans, who are often critical, are now calling this a very good start. That this is a budget that's built to expand growth and opportunity for all of our residents. There is plenty of good news in Governor Lamont's budget. Connecticut has a record surplus and rainy day fund and can do what it hasn't been able to do in 30 years, give significant tax relief. We cut the personal income tax for working families and the middle class. Working families with children earning less than 50,000 a year would pay no state income tax and middle class families earning less than 150,000 would also benefit. 600 for joint filers, 300 for single. We have a governor that's recognizing the impact of inflation um, on Connecticut residents. His proposals to cut middle and lower income taxes is an important one for Republicans. As I've been here where the speeches were tough, the options were, were difficult, right? Um, this is a now a question of shaping it. The governor's proposals need to be voted on, and there's a lot in this two-year, $50 billion budget. More money to train the state workforce, more money for housing, and for child care to get people back to work. There's also increased education funding for cities and towns. Connecticut business leaders seem happy so far. There was an awful lot to like there. Uh, we really like what he has proposed about restoration of the past rented tax credit. Really enjoy or really like uh, what he's doing for the income tax, uh, lowering rates there. Um, you know, obviously we want to take advantage of the robust economy that we have right now. Uh, we need to address the workforce crisis. So today, Governor Lamont's budget address is getting lots of praise, but it is still a work in progress. However, everyone seems to agree that what Connecticut residents need most right now is tax relief. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll have more details on the budget, plus some help could be on the way for those struggling to pay medical debt. We are live tonight in Hartford at the State Capitol. Susan Rav, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.